Hello guys, and welcome to Nameless, the one thing you must recall. So, I think we're on the last chapter for Lance's route, and I am quite satisfied. Nothing traumatizing has happened at all, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Especially since he's technically the first guy that you do in the game uh, when it comes to the order of things. Like, uh, if I go into here, and I go into Elbum, the common route is the route that most is this stuff here um and then we have lance's route which you're s technically supposed to do first there's three pictures i'm missing so far then you yun ho you're supposed to do next and i'm only missing one picture and it's probably from a bad ending and then and technically you're supposed to do yuri and then tay and then red but i am not because i don't do things how i'm supposed to um there's that's just where i was uh wasn't it? No, it's memories. That's different. Um, that's vocal stuff. Where is it? I'm going to go Not sure who that is. Uh, I'm trying to look for... Oh! That's the diary that we got. That It was Shinbi's diary. Okay, I'll have to read that after this. 탈전은 위험합니다. Not sure who that was either. Someone will have to tell me. <laughs> that seems to be the whole thing, because I just, I don't... I don't know, because I don't have voices on. Uh, because they all are Korean voices, rather, uh, speaking in their native tongue than, um, English. So it doesn't really work to my advantage for what I'm doing here. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have the voices on. But, yeah, I just came home from college, and, uh, because it's... I don't have anything until 5 o'clock now, so I just figured I'd just come home and do this instead, because I can. So, yeah. Let's continue. Um, this one. Here it is. It's this one. Ice Princess? Is that the ball joint doll? Yes, Grandpa. Doesn't it look really look like a person? It does. It's very well made. His name is Lance. Lance! Yeah, Lance. What a nice name. Yes, oh, and when I went to buy Lance, there were so many dolls that had so many personalities. I was surprised. But why did you buy Lance instead of the other ones? Lance is special. He looks like he'll do anything I ask him to. He looks like he'll say yes when I ask him to stay where you and I live. That's nice. He has kind eyes. I want to tell Lance to love you, Grandpa. This old man? You're not like my parents, so... I think it'll be nice if someone looks over you and loves you. I asked Lance, so he'll do it. And I want Lance to have a kind heart. Yes, I would like that too. He's my very first ball joint doll, so I'm really excited and nervous. Lance has a kind heart, so I hope he likes me even when I'm this nervous and this excited. Then why don't you ask him that? He'll listen if he's nice. Lance, this is the house I live in with Grandpa. My parents don't come here often, but you'll see them soon. <laughs> it's starting tomorrow! Zoe looked excited. Unlike Zoe, I wanted to cry. It was a nerve-wracking thing that the festival is tomorrow. Ah, I forgot again. I buried my head in the script. I felt more nervous thinking that tomorrow is the d day. My head was already stiff with anxiety. There was no way I could memorize all these lines. I should have memorized them for sure last night. I couldn't focus because of Lance. Yes, this is all because of Lance. Mutter. Warrior, you come all this way to rescue me. You are like a go glorious swan. Is that your line? I can't stand to hear it. Uh, don't bother me. It's hard to memorize it as it is. Why don't you just quit if it's so difficult? What are you talking about? I'm almost there. Listening to the lines, I can tell it's not healthy for growing teenagers to listen to. Actually, I think they're rather harmful, especially that last kiss. Don't talk about that right now. Just quit the thing. I can solve it somehow as the festival conductor. It won't be that easy, and besides, if Red hears that, he'll get hurt and, un and faint. It's none of my business what that boy feels. For me, your lips are more important uh, <clears throat> never mind. Whenever I try to memorize my lines, Lance comes by and picks them apart. There was no way I'd be able to memorize my lines with him like that. 
Ugh, let's try again. Again. Ugh, I just really can't memorize them. If it's hard to memorize them, just ask for help. It might be more difficult because you're practicing by yourself. Oh, Shinbi's right. Sea lion's over there. How about asking Laz to be your partner? Should I? I looked towards Lance and pleaded with my eyes. <laughs> ah, he saw me. Um, Lance? What is it? It's really hard to memorize the lines. Could you be my partner? You just have to say the lines out loud. Class is about to start soon, so just once really quickly, please? Ugh, well if that's what you need, I guess I'll help. Here, Win! The door slammed open and someone intruded. As a result, Lance didn't finish what he was saying. This looks very familiar. I think he barged in like this before, too. What's wrong with that boy? Ugh. Here, Win, you have to practice today. It's to, to it's to, 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 today, tomorrow. R Red, I understand, but class is about to start. I've already told your teacher to excuse you for this class. We have to practice the last scene right now. They never approved it because you felt too awkward about it. The last scene? At Red's words, Lance looked flustered. Thanks to that, I remembered too. That freaking k k Now, let's go! Red barged in and reached for my hand. Wait. Lance blocked him. What? Since I am the festival conductor, I have a duty to see if the rehearsals run smoothly, so I will follow you. <laughs> you just want to get in the way of them having the last scene with the kiss, because you don't, you don't want it to happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Huh? What are you talking about? Now let's go. Lance grabbed my arm. Huh? What? W what's this all of a sudden? It seems Lance will drag me there instead of Red. Watching the whole thing, Zoe squinted her eyes. Can Lance miss class too? If the class president is capable, she will take care of it. Lance looked at Zoe and said, Okay, alright, just trust this capable class president and go ahead, friend! Zoe so shoved my back. Ah! And Lance dragged me out of the classroom. Since when did they agree so well like this? What? Mm, hey, wait for me! That's how I ended up missing class and practicing for the play. And we practiced the last scene the whole time since it was the only scene that needed approval. Lance stood by and watched everything. Oh god, no! I don't wanna! Oh god, this is gonna be awful. Hang on. Gotta, gotta mentally prepare myself for this shit. Oh my god, this is gonna be so bad. Heroin, I'm glad you're safe. I've defended justice today as well. Uh, are you Red the Warrior of Justice? Yes, now, Heroin, if you are safe, as proof, give me your cherry lips and... Oh my god, that's so terrible. <laughs> and Red leaned towards me. Okay, since we're just rehearsing, we're not actually kissing. I couldn't help but smirk since I couldn't get serious. I just couldn't feel the lines, but I have to stop. Although it is hilarious how Red leans towards me after saying those lines. I've told myself a hundred times, and finally we were almost finished. Hey, stop. Ah! I almost lost my hearing. Red abruptly backed away. What? It was going well. He glared at Lance, looking frustrated. Do you not like the sense of justice in this play? Huh? What's wrong with you? The acting was awkward. Why don't we just delete this scene? Who's the writer? Change the script now? Hey, you're just messing around, aren't you? Not at all. I am the festival conductor. I would never mess around. It started again. It's only a matter of time before Red gets mad at Lance and they start a fight. It looks like they'll be fighting at the academy today. Uh... And you too. Are you okay? Huh? That boy. I mean, Red, are you okay with him? Okay with what? I didn't know what Lance was talking about. It's almost time. Let's finish rehearsal for today. The last scene felt pretty good, so I'm okay with it. If all of you agree, then good. Everyone, don't forget to memorize your lines tonight. We can't mess up on our lines on stage tomorrow. Everyone, do your best and let's make this really work, alright? Okay. Uh, if only the festival conductor had interrupted, I could have done better, Red complained. And he leered at Lance, but Lance ignored him flat out. Lance seems more irritated than usual. <sighs> I couldn't help but sigh at thinking about their fight in the play tomorrow. 
I backed out, saying I couldn't do it at first, but I felt bad. I couldn't help but feel that the last scene wasn't well rehearsed. Dear warrior, your arms are like the thickest banana. Banana? Your arms are like the thickest banana in the world? What the fuck? Who the fuck wrote this? I hope they don't purposely make plays that embarrassing and gross and stuff in those countries. Like, why? That doesn't make any... Why? Oh, my hero. Such a weird script, no matter how many times I read it. Yes? I heard a knock. The door opened and Lance entered. Were you practicing? Yeah, what's up? If they're going to be taken away tomorrow... Huh? Oh no! Oh, I think I know what he's gonna do! I didn't know what he was talking about. I looked confused and Lance just stared at me. His eyes seemed full of complaint, but also determination. I asked him because I had no idea why. Do you have something to say? I do. What is it? Oh, he's blushing! Little kitty patootie! He's so adorable! He didn't say anything despite having opened the door confidently, and the way he kept lowering his gaze every time I asked looked suspicious. Your face is red right now. Ugh. I have a question. Shoot. Do you think that it's nothing? Nothing? What is? I'm talking about that. Lance pointed at my script. He pointed as if pressing it hard. He must really not like it. That? Are you talking about the script? <laughs> She's so fucking idiotic! I feel like I would be the same way, though. Like, I would just be like, what do you mean? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Seeing him stay quiet, he must be talking about the script. Do you not like the play? Which part? I don't like everything, but especially that last scene. Are you sure it's okay like this? Lance asks again. Well, the last scene isn't really rehearsed that well, but I think everything will be fine if I get the lines right. That is not what I am talking about. Th uh, well, then what? Lance is a bit strange. The way he's hesitating, and he looks pissed for some reason, too. I I'm talking about if you're okay with doing it with red. Ugh, you're so... You're not being intentionally slow, are you? Lance kept on sighing and finally said what he wanted to say. That kiss! The kiss! Uh, huh? Lance shouted out loud. I was surprised when he suddenly said kiss. I mean, I was surprised that he actually said that word. But Lance looked more surprised to see me surprised. What is it? Are, why are you surprised? You are going to kiss Red tomorrow. Uh, right. I am. I am. Right, I, I mean... I knew about it, but I tried to forget it since it made me feel embarrassed. I tried to forget about it until the moment I actually go up on stage and have to act out the last scene. But as soon as he pointed it out, my face turned red. Lance sighed again. Ugh, you're really such an idiot. I mean, um, I didn't know about what I'd be doing, but it, it didn't really hit me. Uh, and it's me and Red. I, I thought it'd just be funny. I didn't know you'd consider that to be nothing. That? The kiss. Do I have to spell it out for you? Oh, the ki kiss. So, do you think it's nothing? Um, no. Well, how should I answer? Uh, I know what I'm gonna answer. I know what I'm gonna do. Boop. Honestly, I am a bit scared. Right? You are scared. He was overly excited, unlike his usual self. Right. That boy, Kit, ahem, acting something like that with that boy will be very difficult and tough. It's still not too late. Say you quit. No, actually, just say you're sick tomorrow. A play like that can just fail. Lance, calm down. Lance started spitting out all these alibis as if he's been possessed. If I can protect your lips, I can do much- Calm down, Lance! Calm down! It's just a play. There's no real feelings involved. Won't it be fine? You- It's your first kiss. Uh, uh that- That is true! 
I've heard you say it to me more than ten times when I was a doll, complaining about how you've never kissed a boy before. Do you think I would not know? You- you stalker! I'm not a stalker. I just had to listen. You said so yourself. I can't believe he remembers me mumbling about kissing and dating and everything. Every time Lance tells me the things he remembers, I want to crawl into a hole. Especially if it's about boys. Then- then wiretaps! Are you treating me as less than a human now? Ugh, never mind. Anyways, you are so... I feel like he's been talking around the things he really wants to say. So what? What's your point? I came to my room to point out I've never kissed a boy? <laughs> he's like... <laughs> oh. Lance spaced out for a while. Even he must have realized how weird this is. He was always so uptight. He feels more relaxed now. Tomorrow. The play's at two, right? Yeah. Then come up to the roof top at ten in the morning. At ten? Why? That's... No, you'll know when you come. Even if it's just a play, I can't have your first kiss taken away. Oh, He's gonna kiss me on your rooftop! Because he wants to protect my first kiss and he wants to have it. Oh, it's so cute! What did you just say? I couldn't hear. It's nothing. Anyways, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Lance basically notified me when to meet him and hurriedly left the room. I kept thinking about what he muttered. Why does he want me to meet him tomorrow? <sighs> I should now memorize the rest of my lines. Oh, well, I'll probably fall asleep while looking at the script, so I should write in my diary right now. At the sudden thought, I picked up my diary. I opened it to write about today. But something was strange. The words are gone again, aren't they? Huh? Am I that exhausted? In the diary, only the parts about Lance were blurry. Uh, I don't have a lot of time, so let's just write fast and memorize my lines. I felt it was odd, but I just ignored it and wrote everything down. Tomorrow is the festival, so from morning, I practiced memorizing. Time is getting closer. If you reach just a little, you'll obtain the peace. What does that mean? It's morning. The day has finally arrived. Oh, D-Day! D-Day! Oh! Oh, I get it now. This is an Asian thing. Right, I forgot. They call it D-Day for whatever reason. I, I think that's what that's referencing, I think. I don't know. I thought it was just stuttering. But no, no, it's, it's probably D-Day. I don't know what it means and... I don't know what it means, but it's prob that's probably what it is. Like, because I've heard it used before. <laughs> God damn. Today is the day of the festival, but my bed was the script I- By my bed was the script I memorized until late last night. The script was tattered from all the times I held on to it. I habitually checked my smartphone after looking around the room. The roof at 10 o'clock. Do not forget. Aww, look, he's- there's other things. Hold on. Good luck on the exams. I'll be going first. It's the weekend. What are you? What are you going to do? I thought of going to a near park. Will you go with me? Sounds good. <laughs> good luck on rehearsal. I am currently taking a walk. Okay, thanks. Ah, there's little text messages I didn't. See. What the hell? There's text messages from the others. Here, win. Tomorrow's Sunday, but don't forget we have practice. Wake up. We have special training today. All right, ten minutes. Um. Master, where did you go? I wanted to give you cookies I baked. I'm in rehearsal. I'll eat it when I get home. Sorry. I bet you skipped lunch, right? Text me if you're hungry. Where did you go? Lance is gone too. I need breakfast. Sorry, Lance and I are taking a walk at the park. We'll go home by lunch. You forgot to take your lunch, miss. Uh, Tay, I'm sorry. Oh. Cutie patooties. The rooftop at 10 o'clock. Don't forget. The text was from Lance. I now remembered him telling me to meet him at the rooftop at 10. I replied that I would and got up from bed. Alright, let's do this! I purposely started the morning more energetically than usual. After cheering myself up, I chanted to myself that everything will be fine while getting ready for school. I should ride the bus instead of the limo since it's going to be really crowded today. I strode confidently out of the house. 
After the long period of preparation, finally the festival started. The weather is good s uh, Oh, the weather is so good. I look up at the sky. The sky was blue and endless and the wind was perfect. The weather was cool enough, perfect for the festival. I haven't seen you in a long time. I turned around and saw my neighbor, the principal, stand there with a kind smile. Oh, Mr. Principal, hi. I am extremely excited for this festival. Yeah, me too. I feel really excited for some reason. <laughs> so do I. Are all the boys participating in the festival? Yeah, they all have something to do. Oh, is that so? Will they be do- What will they be doing? Oh, you remember Lance, right? He's the festival conductor. I think he supervises over the whole festival. Other than in class, I rarely saw him. He's probably doing a lot of things where I can't see him. So he saw it and was impressed. She said there's no one who's more uptight than Lance. <clears throat> Yes, I've heard that the class representatives have really put a lot of effort this time. This will surely become great memories when time passes. Yes, of course. So, uh, how about the others? Oh, the other boys. <laughs> Aerie, hey! What are you doing here? I saw Zoe running towards me from far away. Did something happen? Why is she running? Something must have happened. You'd better go. Oh, Mr. Principal, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I smiled awkwardly and walked towards Zoe. Zoe was still breathing heavily. What happened? Something's happened! Something big has happened! What? Follow me! The chick's really done it this time! What? What? Wait! Slow down! So he dragged me towards the hallway near the sophomore classes. There was a long line in front of the classroom, and it was so long I couldn't even see the end of the line. What's happening here? There's a tent in that classroom, and the chick's in there reading horoscopes and tarot cards! Chick the fortune teller! As you can see from the line, it's a massive hit! Even if Zoe didn't say that, I could tell from the long line of customers that Yunho made it as the fortune teller. Yunho must be really good at fortune telling. I didn't know he could do that. I was surprised. I heard that whatever the chick says, it all comes true, especially about relationships. Everyone's talking about it. Apparently, he's really good at guessing whether the other person's cheating on them. Really? Yeah, they say he's correct 99.9% .9 of the time. All the people in line are here to ask if their boyfriend or girlfriend is cheating on them. I heard 64 couples broke up after seeing him. If it goes on like this, I think we might even get to 100. <laughs> so he laughed creepily. She always used to shout heaven for singles and hell for couples. You know, it's really excited her. I guess she doesn't see that couple crying over there. But the line is too long. So many people. I don't think I can see Yunho right now. Hmm, that's true. We'll have to wait too long. We'll have to wait too long if we get in the line now. Alright, let's cut in! I heard he'll read your love fortunes even if you don't have someone. Cut in? You're a class president. You're supposed to set an example. Ugh, let go of me! So he was completely out of control trying to cut in the line. Since Shinbi isn't here today, I have to handle Zoe. I can already sense how tiresome today will be. While trying to stop Zoe, I turned my eyes to the clock. It's almost ten. As I saw the clock tick towards ten, I remembered I had to meet Lance. Huh, <laughs> alright, let's just go to Taste Cafe instead. Zoe stopped trying to rampage into the line and changed her destination. She said she'd go to Taste Cafe. I saw him often at Banjul, but I wondered what he'd look like at the festival. Well, even without actually seeing it, I knew the cafe would be as popular as Yunho's fortune-telling tent. And I cared more about the promise I made with Lance than going to see Tay. I'm sorry, Tay! I will fix it soon, I promise. I will see you. I promise, okay? I promise. It's 10 o'clock soon. Oh, hey, I have to be somewhere. I was about to head off when Zoe clung onto my arms like a haunted spirit. What? Shinbi's not here because she's working. You have to stay with me. Hmm, please? I already promised. And besides, I have to go practice for the play in the afternoon. Then just to taste cafe, please? It's better to take you with me than to go by myself. What kind of excuse is that? It's not an excuse. You're close with Tay. No, with all of the hot five. Hmm, please. You have to go to Yuri's concert by myself in the af- I have to go to Yuri's concert by myself in the afternoon. Just to the cafe. Zoe looked at me with her puppy dog eyes. I felt bad seeing her put on all her cute pleading faces. I have no choice when Zoe's this desperate. Fuck you! Don't do that! No! I couldn't just ignore Zoe pleading like this, so I texted Lance. Sorry, can't meet you at 10. Talk to you later. Send. Alright, where do we go? Yay, you're my best friend! Here, here! 
Zoe excitedly dragged me away. I felt good seeing Zoe feel so happy, but I felt sorry to Lance. <coughs> I could just tell by hearing the girls scream. Tay must be here. Wow, it's so crowded. I know. It was Tay's cafe that was swarmed with people, and it wasn't just a cafe. It was a butler cafe. There were a lot of people, but it wasn't hard to find Tay. Far away, there was one spot where people didn't swarm over, and in the middle of that spot was a table and Tay taking orders. Miss, what would you like to order? Um, uh, what's good here? No, no, just give me whatever you want to give me. I would like to recommend creamy milk tea for this lady with a youthful smile. How does that sound? G good I'll have that. Fantastic choice. Then wait here for a moment, miss. Tay flaunted his business smile and took orders. Meanwhile, the girl who faced him looked crazed. Tay working like that kind of reminded me of Yuri. They always bicker about, but maybe it's because they're sharing a room. They resemble each other more and more. Ah! My sunshine is shining more gloriously than usual today! I want to sit there all day. Tay, don't smell the other girls like that! So he desperately shouted, but her voice was buried amongst all the people. The cafe was that crowded. I feel like I see a lot of students from other schools here. <laughs> I knew this would happen, so I argued we should ban students from other schools. The president was such an idiot dismissing my proposal like that. Don't take those things too personally, class president, but more than that, I'm too scared to get through that crowd. Besides, even if I do make it, I don't think I'll be able to say hi properly. Still, let's get in line first, hmm? Should we at least say hi? Ah, T! <sighs> alright, alright. I looked at the clock again. I still had two hours before play rehearsal. Now that I've canceled meeting with Lance, I should just stand with Zoe until then. It'll probably just take 30 minutes. I thought the line would move quickly, but I was completely misguided. The line's not getting any shorter. Ugh, they're already done eating. Why are they still sitting on their butts? Well then, I won't give up now. I'm getting there. It's been over an hour, Zoe. Don't you think this is a waste of our time? If I see Tay, there's nothing more I have to do in this festival. Zoe's eyes were burning with determination. Every time I see the whole determination thing, all I'm thinking is Undertale, and I'm like, No, I can't think about that right now. Like, the feels with that game, man. She must have lied when she said she would just say hi. Heroin! I was worrying about that time when I heard a familiar voice from the end of the hallway. Ah, it's Red! Ugh, why are there so many people here? Red, are you here to see Tay? No, I have to talk to Heroin. Your costume just came. We have to fit it. Huh? Oh. Right. Come to think of it, all the costumes are planned to be delivered today. I have no choice. Zoe, I have to go. <laughs> I'm still going to wait in line. Alright, good luck. <coughs> I left Zoe there and headed to the gym with Red. Are we performing in the gym? Yeah, we got permission today, so we're really doing it. It would have been nice to have practiced here, but oh well. We'll do great, right? Red said confidently. On the other hand, I felt a bit nervous and looked around the stage in the gym. This is our stage for today. It felt so strange to be up on stage. I didn't think the stage was that high, but after coming up, I could see the whole audience from up here. I felt nervous thinking that all the people in the audience would be able to see me too. <clears throat> uh, who are those people? Some students already took their seats in the front row. They must have come early to get good seats. Wow. Whoa. I was twice as nervous to know that people actually looked forward to the play. My heart started to pound. Anyway, hurry up. Try on your costume. Okay. Deep breaths. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. <sighs> it's fine. Everything will be perfect. I saw the clock and realized there was only 30 minutes until the show starts. Red and the other members went outside to get some fresh air. They asked me to come with them, but I stayed so I could look through the lines once more. It felt strange to be in the empty dressing room mumbling the lines to myself. The costumes are pretty nice. I tried it on and was glad to see it fit pretty well. When I came out wearing the costume, Red made a fuss about how good it looks on me. Although, it's not really my taste. My costume was such a princessy dress. I've never worn something like this ever since I was a little. I smiled a bit, thinking that despite being nervous, it might actually be pretty fun. Uh, hang on. I was drowned in my own thoughts when someone knocked. Come in! Are all the members back already? <sighs> huh? 
The door opened, and I heard someone panting. Lance? Ugh, you, you. Why didn't you take your calls? Ugh, Lance said while catching his breath. Oh, c calls? I forgot. I'd put my phone in my uniform pocket after I changed into my costume. Lance must have called me then. What happened? What happened? <sighs> Lance caught his breath and marched towards me. What? What? What is this? What are you? Where are you going? Lance grabbed my arms. I felt his determination the way he pulled up my arms. Damn it, Undertale! Why do you have to ruin this for me right now? Fuck. <clears throat> I wondered why he was being this way, so I just let him drag me along. But he wasn't heading towards the entrance. He's taking me to... the dressing room? Well, wait! Wh y y you have to explain! Feeling flustered, I put all my strength into my feet and stood firm. Lance turned around to face me. His face looked much more serious than usual. I unconsciously gulped. Let's go in and talk. Someone might come. Go in where? Ah! Lance shoved me into the dressing room. This is getting interesting. And then he entered too. He closed the curtains. Oh, she's in her little princess costume! Oh, that's right! It matches his hair and his uniform! Oh, look at it! They're so cute! It's like a little wedding dress! Except she's a princess! And oh my god, I don't know! The space was barely big enough for two people, and there and there we were, standing face to face. I had no idea what he was doing, suddenly barging in and dragging me to the dressing room. I felt flustered and carefully called his name. L Lance? But what are you doing? As soon as I said his name, his blue eyes faced me. After seeing straight into his eyes, my heart started beating fast without permission. His eyes were too close to mine. Actually, Lance is just too close to me. I can't give in. W what are you talking about? Your first kiss. I can't give in. What? No, I won't. W wait, uh! Lance's face leaned toward mine fast. I instinctively closed my eyes and felt something wet on my lips. <laughs> do we get to see it? Huh? Huh? <gasps> we do get to see it! But she ruins it! <laughs> she, she's so startled. I, I can't breathe. My heart was already beating fast, but now it was going crazy. Are Lance's lips touching mine? Aww. Aww, look how cute they are! Seriously? I couldn't breathe because Lance's lips were pressing hard onto mine. I instinctively tried to back away, but he was holding onto my arms tight. W wait it's my first kiss! W what's all this?! I thought first kisses were supposed to be soft?! <laughs> Don't ruin this! Airy, you're- stop it! Mm -mm. Breathe! Breathe! I might suffocate and die like this! I pounded Lance on his chest with both my hands. Let me go! Let me go! <sighs> <sighs> the moment I thought I'd die, Lance backed away. <laughs> you have to breathe. Y you! I hated him for teasing me as soon as he backed off. But before that, I didn't get what this was. It didn't hit me if it really was Lance's lips that just touched mine. <laughs> How can you do that without any warning? You, you first have to ask permission and then do it! Quiet. What? I was rattling on with my face all red when Lance put his finger on my mouth and told me to be quiet. Why am I actually being all quiet now? If you were offended, I will apologize for that later, but I couldn't help myself. He almost took your first kiss. Lance admitted to his crime with a serious face. I wanted to yell how he could be so shameless, but my heart was about to spill out of my mouth, so I stood still. Since my heart was foolishly pounding at what this criminal was calmly saying. Aw, this is so fucking cute. I like this a lot right now. Even if it is just a play, having your first kiss robbed that way, like that, weren't you too calm about it? Something like that should never happen. And you should never cancel meeting with me. And you should never miss my calls. What kind of logic is that? 
Ugh. Lance sighed deeply, and he stared at me. Lance was looking at me still in my stage costume. I felt my face get red again, thinking I'm standing in front of Lance wearing a dress. I don't think my face will cool down anytime soon. Lance looked at it and sighed, and then said in a determined voice, But I can't stand that. What? WHAT?! Oh god, what is going on?! This just went to a whole new level! This just went to a whole new level! Take it off. Wh what Did I hear wrong? Did Lance just tell me to- Oh my god. Oh my god, this is going to a completely new level. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. I did not expect this. Where is this going? Didn't you hear me say take it off? Um, what? Oh my god. I didn't hear it wrong. I tried to back off, but there was no room in this tiny space. Right, right here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Oh my god. Take it off, now. Oh my god. Oh my god, no! <laughs> this is gonna get even worse. Oh no. Here, Lynn. What? Where the hell is she? It's ten minutes before the play starts. I can't believe she disappeared without saying anything. We were so wrong to trust her. Herewin would never betray me. She'll be right back. She's probably near... Ah! You... You are... What's going on? Is it a villain? That... That person's the famous ice... Ice... What... What is it? Ah! What's going on? Stop looking so stupid, all of you. What... What is... This. Hey, why are you dressed in the heroine's costume? Oh no. He's gonna play the princess, isn't he? So that she doesn't have to. <laughs> That's what this is about. Oh god, I thought it was going in a completely different direction. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god, oh my god! So loud. Just give me the script already. Ten minutes is enough. Now. Uh, are you insane? I am the heroine now. Don't you see me in this costume? You're crazy. Seriously insane. Where the re where's the real heroine? That's none of your business. Now hurry and give me the script if you want the show to go on. Oi, you already... What? Uh, uh, that... Shut your mouth. How many times do I have to repeat myself until someone hands me the script? Now, Red, since we'll be facing each other anyways, why don't we settle the match on stage today? How about having the heroine and the lead fight each other? It's not the end of the world just because the script changes a little. It's too difficult to change the script now, even if it's an emergency. But you actually look pretty good in that, Ice Prince. Why don't we keep the script? <laughs> Come to think of it, you don't look so bad. I knew no one in this club was in their right minds. Wait, we're not fixing the script? The play's just about to start. We can't. Uh, then I have to... With him... Kit... 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 <laughs> Did, oh no, no, he's out of the costume, so it must have happened. Oh god. I memorized all those lines. It's all useless now. It's so unfair. I can't believe you memorized all that so fast. As I said that dejectedly, Lance sighed next to me. After the play, we went up to the roof. The building was still full of people enjoying the festival. It was just us two there. I was thoroughly embarrassed thanks to you. I can't believe you were memorizing such childish lines. I'm embarrassed for encouraging you to take part in such a play. But thanks to that, the play was a huge success. Especially that last scene was really... <laughs> I tried to stop myself from laughing. Lance frowned a bit. Do not laugh. But, but it's so funny. <laughs> no one ever dreamed that would happen to Red and Lance. The lighting was dark, so the audience far back would have missed it. But I stood right by the stage and saw everything. The hideously frowning faces of the two leads. It was for you. So slow. Hey, you just called me slow, right? It's not my fault to call someone who's slow, slow. But more important than that. Lance leaned closer. 
Seeing Lance come closer to me and my face turned red again at remembering what happened. It was embarrassing. But I don't mind. Aww. It was for you. Lance. Lance said seriously. He must have really hated me having to kiss Red for the play. He made such an extreme choice and yet he didn't seem to regret it at all. If you hated it that much, you should have stopped me in the first place? If I knew there was a kissing scene, I would have gotten rid of the whole club. Of course, after a meeting with the festival committee. I have no idea what the writer was thinking when he wrote that. Ugh. I never ever thought... Yeah. I never ever thought something like the thickest banana would come out of your mouth. <laughs> Be quiet. I really became quiet at his words. Well, I don't even know who's the owner now. Anyways, I'm glad it's over. And since I protected your lips... And marked it, too. <laughs> oh my god, this is like... My brain is going in very, very terrible places right now that are not good for children to be in. And it's so many insinuations here. M Mark! My face heated up. He was definitely talking about what happened in the dressing room. I can never forget even if I try. As soon as I remembered it, my heart started beating just as it did then. I couldn't look him in the eye and lowered my head. You're red. Uh, you don't embarrass me. I couldn't even raise my face while talking to him, but he didn't seem to care. I couldn't see his facial expression, but I was sure he was smiling. Lance rarely smiled before, but he's expressing himself a lot these days. It's good that he's smiling often. Except, I kind of hate that he smiles every time he teases me. Sure enough, I heard him laugh quietly. Is it that fun to tease me? Of course. It's fun because you're cute. It's getting worse. I don't think my face could get any redder, but he keeps on embarrassing me. I've never heard him say the word cute before. I still couldn't raise my head, but Lance continued. You... I mean... Airy. What? I was so surprised I raised my red face and looked at Lance. He spoke differently now. Did... Did you just say Airy? Aww. Oh, this is so adorable. Airy. You're so cute. Lance smiled and said. I've never seen him smile so comfortably before. He now spoke comfortably to me. If Red had taken it first, I would have regretted it for the rest of my life. I got it first, so I won. <laughs> Whatever, do you think I'm some game prize? I would never. His eyes were serious. I don't envy Red now. Of course he has a lot of people around him and he has a strong personality. He may be one of a kind in his w in this world, and I may be too common compared to him, but you are my owner. Since you and I make memories together, since you make me special, I can be happier than Red, heroine. Right? I'll be better for you than Red. I'll be your prince. Glenn said that and made the sweetest smile. On his face I saw the most beautiful smile in the world. My heart started to pound again for the hundredth time today. Lance no longer trembled with worry. I saw something light up on Lance's face. Something I never saw before. My feelings that I wanted Lance to know. He was already feeling them, too. At that thought, my heart swelled up. Lance looked at me with eyes calm like a murmuring stream. I may not be more special than Red, but there is one thing I can beat him at. The fact that I've looked over you the longest. The fact that you... The face you make when you're sad, when you're happy, they are all here. Lance pointed at his head. They're all recorded in here, so for that, I can beat Red at that. <laughs> I smiled at what Lance said. He says he's no longer jealous of Red, but I can tell he's still conscious of him. It was cute to see him compare care and, and memories to decide who wins or loses. Why? Nothing. As soon as I smiled, Lance asked. I thought he liked being the one to talk, but he must have been paying attention to me. You're stupid. Me? Yeah. Lance looks at me confused. From the start, you guys had no reason to fight. Red and you. Lance quietly listened to what I had to say. Personalities and how special you are, there aren't any standards to judge those with. It's not something you can win or lose over. Red is a special doll that's unique in this world. I know exactly what the doll maker had in mind when he made Red. 
but... I know for sure that the Maker gave you a lovely heart when he made you too. A heart that lets you get along with your owner, no matter what kind of clothes or style the owner offers you. You'll always be happy with the owner and be loved by your owner. He must have really given you such a kind heart. Think of all the time you spent with me. You stood where I put you with the clothes I dressed you in. Accepted all, accepting all of my mistakes like that. You stood right there, didn't you? Your heart that accepted everything is wonderful and precious. Precious. You are precious to me. I never considered anyone to be more special. Okay. Lance nodded slightly. A lovely heart. <laughs> you would say something like that. Lance closed his eyes. He was thinking about what I said. Alright. Your phone is ringing? I looked at Lance's pocket where the phone kept ringing. Come to think of it, there was something else Lance had to do. It was probably a call about his conducting duties. <laughs> An intruder. Shouldn't you get going? You just played hooky for several hours. I had to help the play run smoothly to make sure the festival was a success, so I had no choice. Yeah, yeah. I'll go home after looking around a bit more, so you go ahead. Hey. I was about to get up when Lance stopped me. Yeah? Look around where? Well, Tay's Cafe and Yunho's fortune-telling tent. And I think I heard Yuri's playing a gig, so I might go there too. Mmm, so to that cafe that calls you Miss and Mrs. And to that concert with that crazy teacher who is the drummer. Lance summarized the festival with every s with very, very cynical words. I'll be calling you, so make sure you take it. Oh, yeah, but I might not hear the phone ring if it's too loud. There were a lot of people, so the sound might get buried. Even Zoe's voice was buried, so I might not hear the phone ring. If you miss my calls, I'll find you again and... Huh? Find you again and leave my mark. What? What? My face turned bright red. But Lance, wh what are you saying? Are you some kind of animal marking your territory? Then see you later. Lance smiled triumphantly and headed to the door. M mark I was left alone on the rooftop to stare blankly at the sky. I'll just have to carry the phone in my hand the whole time. The festival ended well. I wrote in my diary and closed it. So many things happened today. I took up my phone and checked the call records. He called me more... He called me five more times after he left. It was most risky when I went to see Yuri's concert. The music was loud as it is, so I was anxious about missing Lance's call. As soon as Yuri got off the stage, Lance called, and I had to leave before I could see any other con any other concert. I guess he knew the whole schedule since he's the festival conductor. I can't believe Almighty Lance did that! The more I thought about it, the more it made me laugh. Lance suddenly spoke to me like a friend, and his actions changed completely, too. I was so surprised. I didn't realize he'd call that much. He's like a stalker more than a prince. But every time I see his caller ID on the phone screen, I feel butterflies in my stomach. It's a weird feeling. It's like floating on fluffy clouds. What kind of expression will he make when he says hi to me tomorrow? I hold on to my phone, full of my call records with Lance and Imagine. I feel happy. Aww. The chapter ended without any issues, but I bet there's gonna be problems later! I'm debating whether or not I should continue. Should I? No. No, I should not. I will see you guys in the next one, because I'm pretty sure... Okay, I keep saying this every single time, but I, I'm certain that this one's the last chapter now, okay? Like, it... Okay? <laughs> it's gotta be this one. However, yeah. however, I'm gonna look at the diary for a second, okay? Lance told me that he wants to spend time just by ourselves sometime. Was he asking me out on a date? My heart's been beating fast ever since I heard him say that. I looked around the doll blogs today. I haven't done in I haven't done that in a while. I've lost all desire to buy dolls, probably because all my dolls became human. I feel like if I get a new one it will come to life too. It's so funny that I'm having these thoughts. <laughs> I guess Zoe and Shinbi will never know this side of me. I feel a bit sad at that, but Lance will always stay by my side. Aw, cute. And then let's go to the title. 
I'm still pretty sure that's red. That's the only voice that I think is red. <laughs> anyway, let's go to Shinbi's diary. Oh, this is Shinbi's voice. That's actually a really nice voice. You can make it either a guy or a girl kind of voice. Anyway, I'm going to read over the voice like I did last time, and it's going to irritate me as much as it's going to irritate you, probably. I'm not going to make any voices to do it, though, just because my vocal cords are starting to feel kind of strained. Alright. Alright. We were very young when I first saw Zoe. She was the kind of girl who cried every time things didn't go her way and who just had to get the most expensive and fancy toys. I was a normal kid and we weren't close at all. The one day a boy told me that my hair color is weird and that I'm a monster for being too tall. He started throwing food at me. All the other kids started to join and laugh while throwing food at me. I just stood there, spacing out, since I didn't want to deal with them. But then Zoe stood in front of me and blocked them. She said that she can't forget people's her that she can't forget people harassing girls. Did Zoe want to become an idol for little girls or something? And Zoe told me that she likes that I'm tall. When she said that, I stared into her eyes. I think I did that to check that she's telling me the truth. Come to think of it, I must have been ashamed of my height. After that, I grew up with Zoe, and she always complimented me about my looks. Everyone else told me that I'm too skinny and I'm too tall for a girl and clicked their tongues, but Zoe always told me that I'm cool and attractive and comforted me saying that I'm better than most boys. The reason I started modeling was largely because of Zoe, and I met a new person along with her, a girl whose small head is always full of worries, our class health commissioner. I don't know why. I just like her. The way she tries her best and runs around, the way she smiles honestly and how mature she is compared to her age, even how she tries in vain to hide her honest thoughts. I like all those things about her. Now when I close my eyes, I think of me, Zoe, and that girl. I hope that our ties last forever. Aww. Shinbi, you think so highly of me. That's so cute. And you have a little... You have a deer that represents you in the forest. And then Yoon Ho is just like yellow and flowers. I'm really interested to see what the others will believe. I don't know whose voice that is. Anyway, I'm going to end it here now. Because I can't have this go on for much longer. Because no. It becomes a pain in the ass when I try and edit things when they're too long. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's totally not because I'm doing a cliffhanger. No, not at all. Nope. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later!